Hi there, welcome back to episode 10 of Martin Colwell's Cheltenham Festival 2021 Antibow, Antipost Thoughts and Tips and Bets. Um, I'm, I'm now until the festival, which is not far off now, the videos will be limited because I want to make them qualitative rather than quantitative because there's an awful lot of videos out now uh, where people are pumping them out every week and they're just putting nothing much is happening and they're just putting up bets for the sake of it to be honest so I'm not going to do that what I thought we'd do and in the next two episodes starting today is look at the short price favorites in races and decide whether we're backers or layers of them um, and what we'll do with this video is we'll look at Tuesday and Wednesday Okay, let's start with the Supreme Novices Hurdle. Um, appreciate is, you, you can get seven to four, around seven to four for Appreciate. Um, I'm on at five to two, so I'm happy with that, but I'm not so keen on seven to four or less. Um, but if we look at the details of the race, um, Appreciate's a seven year old. He was beaten narrowly last narrowly last year by Fernie Hollow in the champion bumper. Um, so he's got the course form. Um, and to be honest, he's not got much to beat that he hasn't already beaten here. Um, he's beaten Bally Adam and Irascible comfortably. And I don't really see them turning it around if Appreciate runs his race. Um, a couple of worries about Appreciate. Um, this is usually a race of five or six year olds and appreciates a seven year old. Um, and he's had only three runs over hurdles, which perhaps I'd like to see a few more runs than that, but no. Um, the bumper form coming into the Supreme Novices is not great, so that's another negative against him. Um, but if we look at the positives, um, doesn't wear headgear, one last time out, one a graded novices hurdle, Mullins, Woody Mullins, his trainer, has won this race six times, he ran in the last 66 days, he's unbeaten over hurdles, and he's a great, great he's a great run winner at the Dublin Racing Festival, so they all stack up in his favour. Um, so, um, I am with Appreciate at five to two, but I'm a layer, at seven to four or less. Um, I'm a bit worried about the ground drying out too much because appreciate what's the test of stamina would it would it would get in good to soft or soft ground but if the ground came up good then maybe there may be a speedy assault from the back of the field who could pick him up because we don't know because we've not really had good ground so that would be my worry there. So at current prices seven to four or less he um, appreciate is a lay. Now, if we look at short price favourites in 2020, of uh, those that were five to four or less, um, five out of the six were beaten. Um, I think Envoy Allen was the only winner. So we have to bear that in mind. And some of these unbeatable favourites that everyone tells us about on every single blog or video, some of them will be beaten. They'll just have a off day or something from within the field will just spring up and win um, so bear that in mind <clears throat> um, we're going to the Arkle novices chase um, we've got Shishkin here near 10 to 11 uh, Shishkin is a 7 year old which is nice for the race trained by Nicky Henderson that's ok um, and Shishkin's free from free over fences so that's all good stuff um, He's the favourite or the second favourite. Um, I say Hendo's won this four times. He's had a previous run at Cheltenham because he won the Supreme last year. Six out of nine, well, six out of the last nine um, articles have gone to odds on favourite. Uh, six out of nine, six out of the nine, sorry, lot last odds on favourites have won this. He won last time out. He's not fallen the season and he's had three or four chase runs. So it all stacks up. So, um, the only negative is that he won, ran and won in the Doncaster Lightning Novices Chase, which is not a good race to have as your last run before you run in the Arco. But um, I think that 
that all mankind will go out in the lead. Energy Mean will try and track him, but Energy Mean won't be good enough. All mankind won't be good enough, and Shishkin will go past them on the run in. I think this is an easy win for Shishkin, and I think um, Energy Mean may even get pipped for second place by something. So may, maybe all mankind hang on and doubt it, but maybe something will come from the back. back to you know, because those two have gone off too fast a second, but certainly Shishkin is the win here. So I'm a backer at 10 to 11. Um, if he goes less than four to five, then, you know, I'm a bit worried. But 10 to 11, yep, take that, move on. The mayor's, uh, the mayor's hurdle, Constantista is six to five here, seven year old, trained by Willie Mullins. Um, now, Constantista is three from seven over hurdles, but has won its last three, but is lightly raced horse. Um, the question here is who will run against her? Because I don't think this race is as simple as it looks, because if Roxana and Damned Company came here, um, it becomes a harder race for the favourite. Um, I know... Horses like Benny De Dieu and those that horses have been talked up and they've never turned up for this race, you know, this year. But, you know, I don't think she's she's beaten that much, Constantista. So, um, but let's look at her positives. She's won over two and a half miles. She's won a grade two at Fairy House and she's Willie Muddy's train. If we look at the negatives, she's not run in 2021. She ran on the flat, which is not good for this race. And... Five of the last six favourites here have been beaten. So, obvious conclusion for Constantista, lay at six to five. Right, let's move on to the Wednesday. We've got the Brown Advisory Novices Chase. Um, Monkfish is five to six, favourite or thereabouts. Seven year old, trained by Willie Mullins. Three from three over fences. Won the Albert Bartlett in 2020. Um, she beat latest exhibition in that race and she's beaten latest exhibition in a couple of races since uh, and she'll do it again here um, what's in her favour well she's a 7 or 8 year old she's placed in a grade 1 or grade 2 chase she's won a listed um, listed, listed hurdle um, 11 out of the 13 winners Last win, for, last 13 runners for one here have been listed or graded hurdle winners. Um, rated 143 plus over hurdles, yet yeah, not fallen, yet yeah. previous run at festival, yet yeah. not Gordon Elliott trained in this race, yes. Run between three and five times over her, uh, over fences, yes. So all the stars have aligned for Monkfish and if she stands up and doesn't go wrong on the day, Monkfish will win. Champion Chase, Jack on Poissoir, 10 to 11, nine year old, trained by Willie Mullins. Six from eight over fences and has won her last four. Um, the opposition's reasonable in this race. I know everyone talks about her having wings, Jack on Poissoir, um, but you know, you've got. Okay, Altior may pass the best. Politilo won this last year, solid horse. Nube Negra, yep, could go off and burn them up, but could equally fade. Uh, first Flow, I think First Flow has to be supplemented for this, so I reckon First Flow may end up at Aintree, you know. I'm not come here. Put the kettle on. Yeah, Shekin Persuas beaten. I'm not put the kettle on. I'm not worried about put the kettle on, apart from put the kettle on's course form. Facadudaries, yeah, she could run into a place. So it's not a bad race. Um, let's look at the positives for Shaq on Um She's won this season, yes. Had a run since January the 1st, yes. Won a grade one, yes. Less than four runs this season, yes. Not a, not a mare, pardon me, yes. Right, let's go. What's against her though? Aha. Last 12 winners had a course run. Uh -uh. One out of the last eight have been Irish trained. Uh -uh. William Mullins is yet to win this race, I think. Uh -uh. Um, 
Yeah, so things against her. Um, I'm a bit worried about not having a course run, to be honest, but uh, so in the spirit of laying some of these favourites, uh, particularly one that's odds on at 10 to 11, I'm going to be a layer of check and Possoir in that, as at now, it either won't turn up or uh, it won't make the race or it'll have a bad day. I think if it's a good day, it probably wins, but but I'm a layer. Let's, let's, I'll stick to that. Okay, uh, the cross country race, easy land, two to one favourite, seven year old, trained by David Cotin J uh, in France, JP Manis owned, eight out of 16 over fences, won this easily in 2020, also had a course win in December 2019, but flopped at Cheltenham in November 2020. Subsequently found to have rhino virus and has been off for a long while, missed its prep runs so far. So not good. Um, the pluses though for Easy's Land. Uh, less than 10 years old in age. Yep. Front two in the market. Yep. Not English trained. Yep. Placed in the race before. Yep. Against it. Um, only one favourite since 2007 has won this race. Which must have been, what, Tiger? No, it wasn't Tiger. What was it? Don't know. Anyway. Um, who's the opposition? Tiger Oil, oh, well, Tiger Oil oh, flopped over the weekend, so who knows, that, that could be up, you know, not turning up anymore. Um, probably once supermarkets open, Tiger Oil oh, will be opening supermarkets in Ireland, I guess. Potter's Corner, um, yeah, solid, okay. Stayer. Asia, Asia. Um, now that's from the same stable as the favourite, David Cotton. It's a seven-year-old. It's far from eleven, but it's finished first or second in its last eight runs, and you can get what circa ten to one for it. So that could be the bet. Unicat is another French horse. Um, not run, but it's not run since September two thousand nineteen, and is not for four offences. So. You know, I'd be giving that one a swerve. I don't think much of the rest, to be honest. So, but I'm going for an upset here. And I'm going to, I don't know who's going to win it though. But I'm going to lay easy land at that two to one. Or, it's, or maybe a fraction less now. Um, so yeah, lay the favourite, easy land. Okay, let's move on. The bumper. Oh. Um, right. We have Kilcroot in here at 13 to 8. A six year old, trained by Willie Mullins, two from three um, in bumpers. Um, of the opposition, we've got Sir Gerhard, the horse that hasn't run for a while, three to one ish. Um, and then there's another Mullins horse, Free Stripe Life, that's in a 16 to 1, that's been well spoken of. Um, plus, we've still got time for horses to come out and run, you know, and win a race, say, and then, you know, end, end up running in this race. So, you never know. Um, but let's look at what's positive for Kilcrut. Um, yeah, he's not a four-year-old, so that's good. He's unbeaten since July 2020, that's good. Um 13 of the last 14 winners were not finished out of the first two last time out. Yep. Trainer, the trainer, Willie Mullins, has trained 10 of the last 23 winners. So that's good. And the Irish have won this seven times out of the last nine. So that's good. Um, what's against him, though? 13 of the last 15 favourites that have been five to two or less have been beaten. Uh, Willie Mullins second strings can win this race. We've seen it before. So, you know, free stripe life or something else, but Willie Mullins has got the winner there. Um, we can ask ourselves if Kiel Crutt is flattered by his easy win last time out. Did the horses that went off in front collapse in front and allow Kiel Crutt to cruise past them? I know the time of the race was decent, but, you know, 
this is different this is Cheltenham and you know it's much harder um, so bearing in mind there could be a floater in the field somewhere um, I'm not worried about Sir Gerhard to be honest you know well we'll see but we'll see well, why hasn't it been running why is it another run why are they keeping it locked up you know um, so yeah I'm going to be a layer of Kilcrut at 13 to 8 or less a layer um, so that's it really we've sliced through the first two days favourites um, some bet some lays um, as I say I've laid some not like some pundits I've seen have done the same exercise and have said, oh yeah, you know, despite the figures showing that favourites get beat, uh, particularly short price favourites get beat, they're all going to win. Well, they're not all going to win because, well, they could all win, but that would be exceptional. So some of them are going to be beaten. Something I had in my mind about Concertista was that on the first day, it's on the first day, isn't it, in that, what happens on the first day at Cheltenham, anyone who, well, you don't have to even have been, but anyone who's bet on it knows that the punters go steaming in for um, a nice multiple, you know, of the favourites or Willie Mullins' job or whoever they're trained by. So I reckon, and, and I've seen this come unstuck, even at the third or the fourth leg. I can remember Benny the, did Benny the, did Benny the Dewar certainly made it foul when Roxana won the Mayor's Hurdle and I think uh, was it Apples not Apples Apples Jade or the other one of Mullins that was similar where Ruby Walsh fell off at the last um, that did it as well so with Constantista what I see happening if appreciate goes in they roll over onto Shishkin Shishkin goes in um, they've and they've stuck in Constantista for the multiple and that's where they become unstuck because these bets do mostly come unstuck at Cheltenham so that further puts me off Constantista um, but anyway so there you are lays and bets and we'll see it we will see after the uh, festival how they did I will revisit these as well I said I'd revisit all the bets afterwards the week after and I'll do that and I'll also revisit these lays and bets as well um, for you um, but that's it what I'll do is I'll be back later on in the week looking at Thursday and Friday of the festival and doing the same exercise um, so yeah so look out for that later on in the week probably Thursday or Friday, I guess that one will be out because I'm very busy at the moment. Um, but yeah, um, look out for me on Twitter. Um, I'm on there at Martin Cole One. I'm giving free bets on football and horse racing on there. They're mostly up every day, and if there's a no bet, I'll put up there's no bet on there. So look out for those at Martin Cole One. Also on Twitter at Golf Bets Gold. You can get chat about golf um, as well. Golf Bets Gold is a subscription service. That's a golf betting tipping service, but I advise you to sign up for that. There's also some eye catcher bets on Cleve Racing as well from me. So plenty really to get your teeth stuck into. So look all those up. Have a look at those. As I say, the Twitter stuff is free. So, you know, look at those say what you think you respond to me respond to me about this video respond to me on twitter about those tell me what you think um but yeah until later on in the weekend well so later on in the week goodbye